I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got house full of kids. Where I keep one of your sick. Keep making that money flip. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got house full of kids. Where I keep one of your sick. Keep making that money flip. Way up. What's up Team Huck House? Welcome to Keystone. And in today's video, we're gonna answer a question that I actually get asked a ton. How good is a rental snowboard? I get asked this a bunch because people are like, they're gonna come take out a rental, and they're gonna come ride. So we're riding at my favorite mountain, Keystone, Colorado, which has a Christie Sports, which happens to be my board sponsor or a rental shop sponsor. So we went and picked up a rental snowboard. We're gonna answer the question about how sick is a rental board. And we'll also talk about Christie Sports a little more in this video, but enough talking. We gotta get to the snowboarding. So here we go. She's the soft one. I told him to give me entry level. Entry level? Yeah. This snowboard, it's just so flexible. Now that I ride a stiff board, I can really feel how playful it is. All right, so we're at rift run number one. We'll get into a bunch of board nerdness on the chairlift. Here we go. It is a cold day, that's for sure, yeah. Okay, so the snowboard I rented from Christie Sports is their bottom level learn to ride series. So it's made by Burton, it's the Burton LRT 150. It is a hybrid camber snowboard, but with like the littlest camber. It's almost like a flat profile. The purpose of this board is to not have any aggressive contact points. So when you're learning how to heel side and toe side edge, you're not just catching an edge all the time. Like if you were to just jump onto a straight, camber snowboard which is what I normally ride now I know once again a lot of beginners are watching this so camber profile is almost like a reverse U like this so when you're riding you push pressure into the middle of the board it then grips the snow extra hard and through you out your turn and then as you let go of that pressure it creates energy allowing you to either pop or like get back into another carb and create more speed and momentum and just it's it's sick camber sick that's where you want to get to is camber but when you're learning your snowboard you want to be on like a learn progressive snowboard something that with not an aggressive contact point so with all that being said that is why this board is super flexible and so then when i'm carving i'm not getting that normal bite that grip i get in my hard toe side and heel side carves you can still rip it obviously we just did that run that was fun but it's not as aggressive as a full-blown camber we don't want it to be that way this is the entry-level snowboard let's try to see how much we can rip on it so for carving i'd give this board and the rental snowboard maybe like a three out of ten on the ability to like rip gnarly turns on it buttering i'd probably give it like a 10 out of 10 you could we'll, we'll do some butters on school more see what we can get out of the out of the snowboard All right, so we're gonna do some butters on this one. Like, hold on. That's so easy. <laughs> I'm 
so dizzy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so every snowboard has eight pressure points. I made a whole video on it right here, the eight pressure points of your snowboard. Check it out, especially if you're an intermediate rider. It's a great video for you. So I gotta learn the pressure points of this snowboard and that's why I fell right there. I feel like I could do the like really like, like I'm not gonna catch an edge butters. <laughs> really just trying to keep my toes warm. It is so cold today. Did you guys know that cold is gangster? 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 Huh? I heard about that gangster. <laughs> oh man. But you guys know what else is gangster? Today! Sticker shout out. We got Zans underscore backyard. Not only repping the evolution sticker, but an evolution windbreaker, man. Looking insane out there. As well as we got Tyler repping a ski evolution sticker, an evolution face mask, an evolution windbreaker. Tyler, you're the man. Thanks for snagging all that merch, guys. All of the merch, and once again, we do have a ski version of the evolution sticker, is linked in the descriptions. The hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, windbreakers, guys, all of our merch. When you snag it, it supports the dream. It lets us travel to other places to snowboard, as well as lets me have Cody, a filmer, full time, and things like that. So guys, thank you so much for snagging the more merch support in the dream if you do snag any of it tag me on my Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the vlogs but also my feet are falling asleep oh! as well as if you're following the Instagram you get the most up-to-date content you get bonus extra content vertical content so make sure you're following Instagram and the TikTok, guys I think we popped up the handles anyway all right we're in the park here we go let's test this rental board which buttered really well obviously uh, here in the park we will not be hitting big jumps on it because we gotta can't get hurt doing something silly but we'll hit these jumps with the rails we're gonna figure out how much this board rips out here jump ah! okay ah. definitely a different pop ah. Woo! hold on that gets me out of it go this way Another one. We got this guys. The snowboard feels great. Oh man, that's scary. It's so smooth on all the rail. The jumps feel fine. Rails, it definitely feels different. So because this board's not a gnarly camber board, when I get on the rails, it is the smoothest thing. It's just like butter. It just feels so different than what I'm used to riding on the rails. That's how I'm like bailing on the big ones. I'm like, oh, scary. And overall, it's still sick. I mean, that jump line felt great on it. We did a front three and a back three. So hyped on the board in the park. Once again, a rider my level, honestly shouldn't be renting this snowboard this snowboard is meant for all the beginners out there anyone that's trying to learn how to carve or turn but this is why i love my sponsorship with christy sports because when i rented my first ever snowboard i rented it from christy sports it's the board i learned to ride on and then as you get better or if you're a better rider they have full-blown different packages that you can rent from like a intermediate to like advanced demo riding a snowboard that people are buying on the shelf stuff type of quality so there's multiple levels that you can rent from Christie Sports. So whether you're learning to take your first turns to you are good at snowboarding, you just haven't done it in a while. Maybe you're going to go on a trip. You want to rent instead of bring your gear, things like that. You can go rent a full blown gnarly snowboard package. We'll make a video covering all the tiers of packages that Christie Sports has to offer. I think that might be my next video with Christie Sports. But I wanted to show you guys how sick 
these rental boards are because once again if you're learning how to snowboard and you get their bottom of the line entry level package snowboard that i'm on right now i'm still out here riding all of this stuff it is still all totally doable but it's that 10 percent that minorness that helps it out but another thing that's awesome about christie sports is if you're ready to buy your own snowboard let's say you're rocking this guy and you're like you know i'm ready i'm, I'm ready to go to the next level in christie sports they have so many snowboards to choose from all the bindings boot options gear options anything you would want to get for snowboarding christie sports offers but not only in stores which they have stores in new mexico colorado washington and utah over 60 stores you can also order online so christie sports is one of my favorite sponsorships because i used christie sports long before they hit me up and i was like yes this is a match made in heaven christie sports me and you we go back to the first time i ever went snowboarding so i love rocking with christie sports i hope you guys do too so check out your local christie sports and once again here at keystone there's one i ride keystone all the time so you can come get your rental from christie sports and come say what up to me at keystone all in one place super sick all right we got a couple more runs in in us right all right let's do another jump line and then we'll do a rail line Woo! The entire time I thought I was just gonna die. It's so soft. <laughs> What's up? What's your name? Videos. Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. Ooh, that was... <laughs> I feel like I held my breath that whole run. Switch turns, baby. We got some sick rail tricks that run, let's go. The other thing that's super sick about these Christie Sports rentals, if you look closely, like right here, it also says subscribe. You should do that. All right guys, sadly this one's chipmunk. This was our day off. Oh my goodness. Trying to survive out here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. All right, it's time to answer the question How hard does a rental snowboard rip? How good is a rental snowboard? And once again, we're talking about the bottom line, entry level. You're learning how to snowboard. This is gonna be the first snowboard you're riding. Let me catch my breath. Now, if I had to give this board, this whole setup, a, a number from 10 to zero, I'd give it a four, a four, you know? It is meant to learn on. It's not meant to go do everything that I just did. We proved that, you know, getting super squirrely on jumps and all that kinds of stuff, but it's great for learning. When you're learning how to snowboard, you don't need a crazy fancy snowboard. It's not gonna hold you back. This board is actually gonna help you learn faster. So when you're renting a board and you're learning how to snowboard, you can definitely start with the base package. Once again, we're gonna make a video covering all of the packages, but if it's your fourth, fifth time snowboarding and you're renting, maybe try going up a package, you know, try that sports package, you know, try that demo, things like that, because you're probably past this level of snowboard now. At the end of the day, gear does matter a little bit, but what does matter the most is getting out on your snowboard and having fun. I had a blast on this board. Once again, shout out to Christy Sports for sponsoring this channel and obviously this video. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you are getting into snowboarding. If you're new to snowboarding and you need help with J-turns or stopping or S-turning, I popped up the how to S-turn video right there. That's gonna help you out the most. But my how to snowboard playlist has all types of how-to videos from beginner turns to, to like snowboard tricks. So check out the how to snowboard playlist. And with that, Team Outcast, thank you so much 
for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this channel.